Hi, in this video, I am going to show you how to make an easy GIF inside Photoshop. I am also going to tell that how you can save it as a GIF. So, first unlock your layer. Then press Ctrl plus J quite a lot of times. Now just disable the layer visibility of all layers, except the bottom one. And right now, I will just show you a very easy and simple animation, so here I have drawn a circle, and now I will gonna turn on the layer visibility of the layer above, and decrease its opacity, so I could see the bottom layer. And do the whole process again and again. Now, I am going to make sure that every layer has 100% opacity. Now since we have created our layers, it's time to make the GIF, so just go to Window, and then choose Timeline. And this is your timeline. Now just select Create Frame Animation. Now just click on that. Click on these three lines and choose Make Frames from Layers. Now you can see that the first layer on your timeline is the most bottom layer on your layer panel. Second layer on your timeline is the second bottom layer of your layer panel, and so on. And now just play it and see your animation. You can even change the time of your frame. Here I have got another example for you. As you can see, here I have seven groups, and each group is different from the other. Well I basically have a background layer, a text layer, and a splatter effect. Now the method I showed you will not gonna work on this one, let me show you what will happen. See I click on make frames from layers, but this didn't work, because these are not layers, these are groups. But don't worry, I have got another way for you, so what you can do is, just to drag your layer that is in the timeline, to the symbol that creates a new layer. I am sorry that screen is cut, so you can't see the symbol. Now, the part I am doing is quite hard to describe, so you can see what is happening on the screen.
And now just play it. It looks a little fast. So I will make the frame size around 0.1. Now let's learn that, how you can save it as GIF. So just go to File, Export, and choose Save for Web. In the preset value, I will prefer the top one. And now just save it onto your desired location. Now, to see if it really works, just drag it to any browser, and if it starts to work, then congratulations. And turns out that most of you who watch my videos aren't actually subscribed, so if you like the content and want to support the channel, then please do it, it's free, and you can always change your mind later.